I wanted to start with one of my first videos with my vermicomposting setup. Uh, I have three different tubs that I actually keep in my kitchen. I have both European earthworms and traditional red wigglers. The two smaller bins are um, the traditional red, red wigglers and the larger bin is the European earthworms. Um, all of them started from small, small batches that you get at your pet shop or the Walmart bait section um, with just a couple hundred worms and I've had them a uh, couple years now actually. Uh, they've all done very very well. I've gotten a lot of fishing uh, bait out of it and lots and lots of nice uh, compost um, and nutrients for uh, some plants and gardening that I've done but now I'm starting to get a lot more serious um, about it so I'm starting the videos here. Now um, these all look a little light right now. They're normally fuller but I just pulled a whole bunch to plant a uh, multi-fruit orchard tree in my yard before I get my aquaponic system going in the next couple of months. Um, lots of little organisms will just pop up and show up in here. Um, I haven't had a lot of issues with fruit flies or anything like that because I keep them contained um, under my kitchen cabinets. I do have some cedar boards down there to help keep other bugs away. Um, but I feed them almost all of my vegetable kitchen scraps. And as you can see, cardboard from toilet paper rolls, or uh, paper towel rolls, or even scrap cardboard from boxes or things like that. So I really try to make sure uh, nothing goes to waste. But um, I will be introducing some of the wigglers and worms uh, to my aquaponic system when I get that started, hopefully in the next couple of months here. Thank you.